are in the gate. And they're off. And looked a pretty level break with the exception of Yartsey from stall 14 was a little bit slow to begin. Also Union Court not showing a great deal of early speed, neither to his Ramazan. Early speed here from Seismic Spirit in the centre of course has taken the early lead. Eddie's boy is racing a very close in second over on the far side. It's Edgar Linton who's also flashing speed on the near side. Rocking Ends is right up there as well. And it's now in the centre that Eddie's boy has just about come to lead them overall to Democracy Dilemma now racing in second and Seismic Spirit in third and Rocking ends. Meanwhile, over on the far side, there's Maymar, who's already been ridden along together with Edgar Linton, and now the favourite begins to be unleashed. That's Little Big Bear, who's making good ground. So to his silencer, racing alongside, but on the near side, it's still Eddie's boy who's got the lead. Rocket Rodney has also got every chance now towards the near side. On the far side, that is Little Big Bear. They're now inside the final furlong, and it is Rocket Rodney who's now been tackled by Little Big Bear. from a long, long way back. And in the end, the American Seismic Spirit only beat one home, and that was Whistle and Flute. He dwarfed the field in the paddock, and in the end, he's dwarfed them here, but he's in the end won by about a neck. He's landed the gamble in the near side. It's Rocket Rodney who has got second. Third goes to Eddie's boy, who was right up there throughout. Fourth to Chateau, just on the far side. And then came Jumbo, who stayed on in fifth, and in six, Car Sib. Let's crunch the numbers. Little Big Boy, Little Big Bear has given Aiden O'Brien a third win in the race. It's a 77th win at Royal Ascot for Aiden O'Brien and a 67th win for Ryan Moore. More important, race 13 made it 13 times lucky for Aiden O'Brien and Bally Doyle. Which will be quite a relief, and that money told the story. Gamble well and truly landed. Little Big Bear got there, Johnny. Nice horse, Ed. As I said, I was surprised he came here. I thought he might be a Coventry horse, but they had other, other horses for the Coventry. But he did it the hard way, Ed. He was out there in a wig on his own. It looked like the pace was going to hold up down this side. Um, what's that, rocking? Rocking Rodney. Rodney was, you know, he came up, he quickened really well. Thought he had it, but Ryan sticking his left hand. This horse looks like he'll get six, no problem. Jason and you need a stay already. Has that tail out again as you said? Well, it didn't stop him today. No, it certainly hasn't. Um, just just a little query if you're looking at draws. Um, the winner, Little Big Bear 2, the third and the fourth, nine and seven. Rocket Rodney, 21 as far as he was concerned. And just nothing up this side. I know we saw Blessing finish a little bit down the, the stands rail, but um, definitely looks like we're leaning that way. Victorious Racing have gone close again on the right there with Rocket Rodney after their big winner yesterday. And Midland Park are hitting the bar too. Eddie's boys run really well and Archie Watson, two-year-olds, always worth following. Few for Aiden. Ollie. Yeah, we'll grab a quick word with, with Ryan Moore. Ryan, uh, Johnny Murta said he, he's done that the hard way. He's, he's, he's won tough there. Would, would you agree with that? Yeah, good, good performance from a horse that's still learning. He was out on the wing and um, he stepped, stepped well, but the horse in the middle were kind of ahead and he was a bit lonely. But he's got a lot of ability and uh, He's a horse that um, has a lot of speed. You, you know, he's, he's 21 runner races. When you come out on top, it's, a, it's always a good sign. And uh, he, he, he'll, he'll get better. Yeah. And how much better do you think he will get? How much more is there to come from him, do you think? Yeah, this, you know, look at him, he's a big horse. He's not blowing overly hard. I thought he'd done that comfortably. I know he hasn't won far, but I had the feeling there was more in the locker. Brilliant. Well done, Ron. And Aidan O'Brien is alongside me now. Aidan, uh, off the mark, finally, uh, how good was this horse today? Yeah, no, delighted. Uh, Rishi, um, Ryan gave him a great ride. He was just drawn a little bit away from the pace. Um, but we were delighted with him. Uh, he just got beat the first time, won very nicely the second time. Um, Alex, Davis, John, uh, Ryan rode him work uh, during the week and was delighted with him. Uh, no, we, we were very happy. And he's a horse that should get further as well, Richie. Also, I was going to say, he, he still looks like he's learning. He still looks like it's, 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 he's taking things in whilst racing. Yeah, he's a big horse and obviously uh, it's obviously just a very fast race and uh, horses need to know a lot. Uh, 
in it need to be very well educated and he had only had the two runs you know so we were a little bit worried about that but um, no delighted really despite all the big races you've won around the world Aidan how nice is it to get the first one at Royal Lascaux under the belt uh, she's incredible Rich is very tough to win races here so difficult I can't tell you um, and when it happens like we're we feel very uh, privileged and uh, really delighted because it is tough. It, it's uh, obviously it's the absolutely the pinnacle of high summer racing. Um, everyone wants to be here. Everyone wants to win here. The track is beautiful. It's fast. It's everything is un unbelievable, really. Uh, and I know you are privileged and and it's special to win here at Royal Alaska for you. Um, but I hope you don't mind me just distracting for about a, a brief moment to ask how proud you were for young Joseph to get his first Royal winner. Ah, she was incredible. Uh, he done it. Joseph's done an incredible job with that horse. Um, he told me before the race what he was going to do. Um, I didn't think it was the right thing, but I uh, obviously, from experience, I, I learned just to not to say anything and to stay out of it. And so happy and so delighted I was, and so happy for them. Um, listen, Shane gave him a brilliant ride for him, but he had it 100% spot on. When I came here, he was out walking the track with Shane, so I knew it was serious. And uh, um, for it to happen, um, very, very good horse. Um, uh, he's obviously won in four different countries or continents for him now and all the big races and obviously Prince of Wales is the most desirable race of all for a stallion to win here, you know, so uh, incredible really. A great day for the O'Brien family, well done. Appreciate it, Rishi, thank you very thank much. You. Well, it feels like business as usual really now, finally. Michael Tabor and Derek Smith getting in on the act, leading in the winner alongside Pat Keating who was there. And the fellow who looks after Little Big Bear, who is John Bowles. The money was down, the gamble landed, Little Big Bear went off in the end at 6-5. to five. Rocket Rodney for the victorious team at 14-1, to one. they've got some nice two-year-olds. Midland Park are having some thrills, Eddie's Boy at 40-1. to one. Chateau was fourth at 15-2, to two. a 13th different winning trainer. The theme goes on, finally, it is Aidan O'Brien. Now, Chris Hughes, I think, has found Ruby as promised. Yeah, I've managed to track down Ruby Walsh. Now, you were quite hard to find, but coming in here, I can see why you're tucked in. Absolute five-star treatment, Ruby.